Hello, welcome back. Uh, this is part 15 of the video series Salvation Through Works is Heresy. Let's move on to um, the verse uh, Matthew 6, verses 14 and 15. Now this is uh, Jesus speaking. He says, For if you forgive others for their transgressions, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, then your Father will not forgive your transgressions. So, brother, uh, this is a verse that uh, people have brought up to me many times, saying, "See, you, you know, you you better forgive. You better be a forgiver, or uh, you're not going to be saved." It says, "If you don't forgive, you're not going to be forgiven." Um, basically, they're saying this is a work I must perform. They're, they're adding to uh, the gospel of salvation through by grace through faith alone they're saying that yes you have faith in Jesus but you must also forgive because it says here if you don't forgive you won't be forgiven so, what do you think of that? so in other words uh, what Jesus did on the cross wasn't enough to save me um, what he did up there there's I, I must perform this um, also to be saved mm -hmm. uh, basically what they're saying yeah well, uh, the first answer I want to make sure you understand about this verse is just like so many other verses where it's saying that uh, um, you, you've got to do this or do that. And, and even out of Jesus' own mouth, he says this and other things. And, and people will take those verses and add them as requirements for salvation. But this verse is nothing more uh, than just a commandment like the Ten Commandments or any of the other commandments of Jesus telling us uh, how we should live. And uh, if we don't do that, it's a sin. And uh, of course we wouldn't be forgiven if we're not a forgiven person. We're not going to be forgiven for that, except for Jesus' death on the cross for the forgiveness of all our sins. Um, if it wasn't for his death on the cross, then it would be true. I could never be forgiven for being an unforgiving person. I could never be forgiven for stealing and lying and adultery and everything else except for his death on the cross. That's, um, so this is uh, a statement that will convict someone and make them understand their sinful state and their need for the Savior. Yeah, I mean, to say that this is uh, also required, okay, for me to be saved um, is uh, saying what Jesus did on the cross um, wasn't enough to save me, um, and that would uh, when Jesus said it's finished. Um, you've been then, it, it, in essence, uh, it, if this needs to be performed, then it, then it's not finished. Right. So, and we know that that's that's not the case. It's, what you said is is what this is all about. This is just another way for God to give you a knowledge of your sin, and and to show you um, that you need to to trust Christ and, and what He did on the cross for your salvation. Well, uh, let's move on to another verse that uh, people also say this is an unforgivable sin. Uh, in uh, Matthew 12, verses 24 through 32, it's talking about the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And first, let's get the context. Uh, this is Jesus uh, talking to the Pharisees, the Jewish religious leaders. And it says, But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow doth cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, the prince of the devils. And wherefore I say unto you, All manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. So, the first part is stating that... Uh, the Jesus, in context, Jesus had uh, been performing miracles. They weren't disputing that he did miracles. But they were saying he did not do the miracles because of God working through him. They were saying, no, he's doing the miracles because the devil, Beelzebub, is working through him. It's of the devil. And, and here Jesus is saying that they, uh, they're they committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit because they're saying that it's not the Holy Ghost working through him, the Spirit of God. They're saying, no, it's the Spirit of the devil. So they're calling the Holy Ghost, the Spirit, Holy Spirit, they're calling it the devil. 
Um, so there are a couple of ways of, of uh, uh, resolving this. Uh, uh, there are basically two camps. Uh, one group of people would say that it's impossible today to commit the, this what they call unpardonable sin, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. It's impossible to do it today uh, because uh, we are not able to eyewitness Jesus doing miracles and then accuse him of, of having the devil working through him. And if we could go, if we could take ourselves back in time uh, and observe Jesus doing that, then we then we would have no excuse. We saw with our own eyes he did the miracles, and that we accuse him of having the spirit of the devil instead of the spirit of God. Then you would be guilty of this blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Since we're unable to go back in time and witness it, we can't. We cannot do that today. Uh, but there's another uh, way of of answering this question. Yeah, um, well, you blaspheme the Holy Spirit um, every time that, that God, through His Spirit, gives you a testimony um, that Jesus Christ is uh, God Almighty, that He is uh, the Savior of the world, that He died for our sins, that He rose from the dead. Um, and uh, every time that you reject that message that the Spirit of God is given you through someone, then you're blaspheming the Holy Spirit. The bottom line, uh, why did they blaspheme the Holy Spirit? Because of unbelief. They didn't believe that Jesus was the Messiah. Um, so the sin that they were committing, that is the unpardonable sin, um, is unbelief. Um, you know, to not believe in Jesus is a sin. And that is the one sin um, which won't be forgiven. All other sins can be forgiven by the blood of Christ, but if you die in your unbelief, um, in that sin, then you're going to be condemned to hell. So you're, you're saying that uh, uh, the, there really is one unpardonable sin, and that is unbelief in Jesus uh, as our Savior. Uh, if, if we will not believe He's our Savior, then uh, basically we're, none of our sins will be forgiven. And uh, that is the only sin that could not be forgiven is unbelief in Jesus as Savior. Yeah, Jesus said, if you don't believe that I am He, you will die in your sins. So the only way to have all your sins forgiven is to believe in Jesus, to trust Jesus as your Savior. So some people try to say, look, there's, uh, if you don't forgive, you won't be uh, uh, forgiven. And if you don't, uh, uh, if you commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, then you won't be forgiven. Uh, but you're saying blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is really the sin of not believing in Jesus. Uh, but let's go to a verse that clearly states that all of our sins will be forgiven. It says in Colossians 2, 13, When you were dead in your transgressions and, and the uncircumcision of your flesh, He made you alive together with Him, having forgiven us all our transgressions. So it's saying here, that um, Jesus Christ made you alive, born again, child of God, with eternal life, uh, having forgiven all. And it doesn't say all of them except this one or that one. It says forgiven all of your sins. Uh, because of your faith in Jesus, all your sins are forgiven. There are no exceptions. Every sin is forgiven after you trust Jesus as your Savior. The Bible says the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. The Bible says in Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of His grace. All right, let's let's uh, move on, and uh, we'll pick this up in the next video.